But first this noon time, a notorious cop killer wants his conviction overturned. Esteban Carpio was convicted of killing a Providence detective with the officer's gun during questioning. But his lawyers say he was not in his right mind when it happened. It's our top local story this noon time. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live with the latest now from the mobile newsroom. More than six years after one of the most emotionally charged murders in Rhode Island history, the state Supreme Court this morning heard arguments from both sides in the appeal of convicted cop killer Esteban Carpio. It was a murder that stunned Rhode Island and reverberated around the country. The shooting death with his own gun of Providence Police Detective James Allen in April of 2006. Esteban Carpio was convicted of first-degree murder in the crime and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Today, a public defender tried to convince the state Supreme Court to order the trial judge to declare Esteban Carpio not guilty because he was not criminally responsible due to mental illness. But during more than an hour of legal arguments, all five Supreme Court justices sounded skeptical. He asked for a cup of water to get somebody out of the room. He, yeah. he jumped from the window in a way that would preserve him from breaking his leg. Uh, he called for a cab. Those are all rational acts, I, I would think. Your Honor, there certainly is a preservation of cognitive function, functioning. All, both of the, all of the experts said this. There is some preservation of cognitive functioning in individuals with mental illness. He went back to the door home and switched vehicles. Now, how does that comport with psychosis? Your Honor, there are a lot of things here. There are rational seeming behaviors. I can't explain them. That's but that doesn't mean juries. he was not That's psychotic. Why we have juries. They did. They made a decision. They made a wrong decision. Evidence. They made a wrong decision, Your Honor, please. If the Supreme Court chooses not to throw out the conviction, Esteban Carpio's lawyer is asking for one of two alternate remedies, either a new trial or a new sentence from life without parole to life with parole. Live at the Supreme Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.